Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Kaveri here and in today's video we will be discussing on how to apply for job in Germany from India. So like I got various questions from my followers and friends that how would you would be applying for job from India. So this video is about that. So if you're planning to apply for a job in Germany, the first and foremost thing you should be sure about is whether your degree and your university is recognized in Germany. Because without that, like why you should go with this complete process? It's like it will be in vain. Now we are on the portal where you can verify your degree and university. Go on the search option and select your country. I have selected the Indian so I will remove it now. Now I will select Indian. Here you can select bachelor's or master's whatever degree you have. Here you can see all recognized degrees and universities in Germany, bachelor of engineering, bachelor of technology. Now we are going on the second option to, to check whether our university is rec recognized. I'll s put my country as I did in the previous step. Select India, Indian. Now I'll select the city in which my uh, university is located. It's in Indore, so I'll select Indore. Now all the uh, universities which are in Indore are listed below. I'll type the university attribute and below you can see Devi Ahilyabai is recognized with status H+. It means it is recognized. Now comes the third part. Your degree is recognized, your university is recognized. Now I would recommend, recommend you that uh, just uh, have a glance of the German market. You should... Uh, know that your skill whatever skill you have what is the demand of that skill in German market so for example uh, the IT IT is uh, a niche skill in German market and doctors are highly in demand in German market so if you have those skills it's a win-win situation for you so I would say that uh, before investing so much of time and hard work because this process I, I like tell you this process takes lots of consistency in hard work so i would recommend that have a glance of the german market and i have added the link how you would be able to know that what is status of your skill in german ma market you can refer that link in description and get to know that uh, what are the your chances of opportunity and what are your chances of getting a job in germany so these three three things now comes uh, suppose uh, your degree is recognized your university is recognized and your skill is uh, one of the niche skills in German market now comes the process how do you apply for jobs in Germany so the first thing I would say make a very good resume make a very good CV so uh, you might have heard that people might have told you that uh, your normal CV works here. Yeah, maybe you can try. But I would say that if you're putting lots of effort, I would recommend you to make a Europass CV. So for, for making a Europass CV also, I have added the link in description bo box. And I have literally followed the same step. You need to go into the site and fill your details. Add your photograph and your CV would be ready. It's, it's super simple and I have added the link. You can follow the link and create your CV. So what is Europass CV format? I'll give you a short description. It will have a photo on the right side, right top side and make sure that you add a very professional photo. It is important because the first impression is last impression. And it's true here. And You'll, uh, the CV will have your like name, your email ID, your address, your phone number, everything. Then uh, whatever years of experience, suppose from this year to this year you, work, you have worked in a particular company or in a, on a particular role. So uh, with, uh, with that time span, you'll have all the description that what, what, were your, what was your designation, what, was your, what were your duties and responsibilities. So from 
one time span to other time span you'll have all the duties responsibilities what what all skills you have worked on and uh, so the cv will be categorized into different time slots the, so you can uh, add all those details you can fill up your details when you enter your details in the like europass side you'll you'll be asked to enter the year and you'll be asked to enter your skills so now one the first and foremost uh, step is completed you have a very good europass cv now comes the second step you should have a good cover letter now the question you might uh, you might think of a question what is this cover letter because in like in, in india we don't know what a co cover letter is i have never heard about it so a cover letter is like you are telling the employer about your condition like uh, you you'll start my name is this 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 and i have completed my university degree from this place and then i have worked uh, in this comp in this company i have this kind of experience and this is my status like what is the status if you are in india you have to write that i am in india and i am like i was interested in your job advertisement and I, now i want to apply for it so i would give you a small trick here that make a generic cover letter first then as per the job requirement if you have time then you can manipulate your cover letter suppose uh, for example uh, uh, you saw the an advertisement there were there are lots of description that we want this we want that now in your cover letter you can highlight that i came across your job advertisement and i could and i could say that i have those skills and i have performed these these activities which would be perfectly matching as per your job requirement and job advertisement so i think that i am a right candidate for you this is my situation i am currently in india and i want to apply uh, i want to like move to germany i want to work uh, in germany you can explain your status and for your reference i'll be adding a link to the cover letter format so you can just make the changes and you can use that cover letter now the cover letter is done the europa cv is done so you're like almost all set for applying the job now the third question comes that what all are the sites where you can apply for job so the first and my most favorite is linkedin linkedin is like very important i i would tell you by my experience that i have got maximum calls or maximum job opportunities from linkedin so linkedin is really important second comes zing zing is like in linkedin of like uh, linkedin is in india like in germany it is zing there are other sites as well like stepstone indeed expertia and like i'll give you no need to like note down i'll give you the links to all these sites in description box so you can go and make your profile in all these sites i'll add the links so you can go and make your profile in all these sites make your like i would give you one very important tip, tip which nobody gave me it's like you learn these things through your experience but i felt like sharing with you build your linkedin profile it is really important now the question would be arise what is building linkedin profile your linkedin profile should be very impressive make a very add a very good professional photo to your linkedin profile and then the second tip is like make connection with your skill people suppose you want to apply for job in germany search for people who are already working in germany it doesn't matter if they are indian if they are indian that's that's a like win win situation for you you they'll surely have a soft corner if you send them connection maybe they can add you to your linkedin list and you can ask some questions to them but that's fine no problem you can send a uh, linkedin connection to other people as well because i have done and it like it it fine it's fine and you can like ask them some questions but if no problem don't need to worry if they don't reply you already have their like whole linkedin profile in, in front of you go check out their linkedin profile check out the skills let let me take an example of a system admin profile suppose you are applying for a system admin profile send connection to those people 
who have a system admin profile and who are already working in German. Suppose you they don't respond to your connection request, they don't respond to your like uh, like messages. That's fine. You have an access to their complete LinkedIn profile. Go through their profile. Check out the skills that are highly that are high in demand. Uh, for example, DevOps is in high demand. AWS is is like highly demanded demanded skill check that if those skills are like added to those pers uh, to the linkedin profiles of the, the that person and try cultivating those skills i uh, like i won't tell that learn aws learn uh, devops you can't learn ev everything right but at least you can if you have some time you can invest on some skills and add it to your profile and i'll te i tell you that it will be really beneficial for you if you add at least some highly demanded highly demand skills in your profile okay now this is very important thing which i had i have done and this is how i improved my profile the second thing which you can do is while link, uh, building your linkedin profile is ask for recommendation now what is recommendation you can go to your colleagues you can go to your friends with, with whom you have worked and just message them just message them on LinkedIn and uh, tell them that I need a recommendation. They, they'll they be like, if somebody asks me to uh, send them a recomm recommendation, I'll be like happy to give some good, add some good uh, qualities of that person. So they can send you a recommendation. And if you have very good recommendation, this increases the value of your profile. So recommendation point is very important. And the third thing, the third point which I'll like emphasize on, send connection rec linkedin connection request to recruiters of germany send them linkedin connection request because uh, like uh, there are various recruiters in germany who like continuously keep on posting uh, job opportunities in germany so that you'll be aware of the job opportunities in germany so this is very important thing and if you want you can also send them your profile that uh, hi this is my profile i'm looking for a job from india and yeah that's it don't don't take anything on ego if you, they don't re, uh, reply that is fine you can send them a connection you can send them, them a message because this is this is like for our benefit we have to work for ourselves nobody will do any work for like us so we have to do so like be a little base on for that that's fine so like i have uh, I, I have like mentioned all those things which you need to work for building up your LinkedIn profile. Now your LinkedIn profile is like build up. And I would also tell you one thing, building your LinkedIn profile is not one day process. You need to keep on checking your LinkedIn profile. You need to keep on updating it as per the market trend and as per the market scenario. Okay. And if you want, you can also go for a LinkedIn premium, but like I did not go for a LinkedIn premium. So that's fine. If you can't go for LinkedIn pre premium, that is fine. You can still apply for all those. Now here I'll, I would also like, uh, like I have com uh, uh, like briefed all the, com the complete process. I think the, this is fine. But now I, I would also like to answer a few questions which I was asked. The first question is, uh, do you need a PR to apply for jobs in Germany? No, you don't need anything. You don't need anything as of now. You just need your degree to be recognized, your university to be recognized. And you, yeah, that's it. Your, your like skill and university degree to be recognized and you don't need anything to apply for job in, for to, to apply for a job in Germany. You can straightforward apply, uh, apply for job in Germany, staying in India. The, uh, the second question which I was asked is like, uh, tell me about certifications. So I would recommend the first certification which I would recommend is if possible go for at least B2 level German language because if you have a B2 level German language certification you are like above 90% of the people who are already applying for job you are like far above and I would tell you that most of the job offers which people miss in Germany is because of their German language skills so B2 German language I would recommend but if not you can also go for A1 at least A1 German language 
and if still not you cannot go for e even a1 i would still not say that you can't get a job in germany because i have got go got a job in germany and i do not have any certification so you can get a job in germany but this is my recommendation and please don't stop trying please never stop trying whatever somebody comes and tells never stop trying so keep on trying and apart from like language certification you can go for other sort of uh, other like certification as well because certifications are like really valued here so if uh, and certification can also vary as per your skill so i cannot give you some specific advice on what certification you should like do but you can go as per your skill and get a certification because it is like valued here so i guess i have like covered most of the points and if i have not and if you still have any question then you can please comment on the uh, comment on this video and i'll surely try to make a video on that and i'm also trying to uh, make other videos like if you're planning for a job seeker visa and if you are on dependent visa so i'll be making other videos for for like these scenarios as well but as of now i guess you have all the information for start to start applying for job in germany so that's all folks and hope you liked the video hope it was beneficial for you so stay happy stay healthy and never stop trying and you'll surely succeed bye bye <music>